Interpolation is a way of estimating a value lying between two other data points, thus the enter. What we're going to do is we're going to take a set of points and we're basically going to draw straight lines between them in order to estimate what the value might be between these two observations. This is, for instance, the default behavior you see if you plot a set of points and MATLAB simply draws lines between them on your figure. So here you can see we've generated a lens space from 0 to 1 with 11 values, so 0, 0 0.1, 0 0.2. We've squared that. Notice the dot hat is that squared value for us. And then we've plotted them with circles and with lines. So the circles represent the individual points that we, for which we actually have calculated data. And if we were using this to estimate the values in between these points, it would simply be using the value at each of these lines. That's what interpolation means. So here we have x of 0 0.3, we have x of 0 0.4. If we needed to know y of x at 0 0.35, we would simply use the value that lies intermediate between these two if, we're, if we were interpolating. So here we're going to call this x estimated at 0 0.15, and we're going to say y estimate equals interp1, so one-dimensional interpolation, linear interpolation, but from with data set x and points y at the value x estimate. So our estimated y in this case comes out to be 0.0250. Of course, the actual value for squaring 0.15 is 0 0.0225. So we're a little bit off there, but we haven't accrued much error for this particular case. So here you can see that we've set that value at, at 0 0.15. It lies on that line in between those. But if we were actually trying to plot the curve itself, the function x squared, then we would see that there's a small deviation between those points. Linear interpolation is generally the safest way to guess at data you don't actually have. We can also change the way that it's doing this. So right now we're doing linear interpolation, right? We're drawing lines between points. You can also choose it to just estimate things as the nearest neighbor, or you can choose to use cubic interpolation, which fits a cubic polynomial across sets of points and provides a smoother look at what's going on. Now here what we've done is we have plotted cosine in green. We've chosen a set of points in red circles. And then we've used linear interpolation to produce the red lines between these points. Now at some points, if we're using linear interpolation to, to estimate a value in between two other values, we will be quite close. For instance, if we're doing it in the range from 1.256 to 2.5384, this stretch is very, very close, the function and the, and the interpolation. If we were to do it here, however, at the value pi, because it sits between these two values, we've actually introduced quite a large error at those points. So linear interpolation is fairly safe, but you need to know something about the way your underlying data set is behaving. Also, be careful to keep linear interpolation distinct from a linear fit which we'll discuss next time when we start talking about modeling.